Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your daily love reading. My name is Pretty, and I'll be doing your love reading today. So before we begin with your love reading Sagittarius, please do remember to take what resonates and to leave behind whatever does not. Okay, so let's begin with your love reading Sagittarius. Okay, so at the bottom of the deck, we have the Seven of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So this is an energy of being patient with something. This is an energy of taking things slow, planting seeds, and building a connection in a very organic way. Okay, so let's see what the rest of the cards have to say. Okay, we have the Nine of Wands, Fire Energy. The Judgment card, Scorpio energy. And we have the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, Earth energy. So this could be a connection with someone who, it looks like this is someone you have history with. Um, this person may have left you hanging. They may have left you waiting in some way. With the Five of Pentacles, there is an energy that this person has been going through a lot. Uh, they could be struggling financially or emotionally. They could be struggling with depression. Um, the Five of Pentacles does show them feeling a sense of lack and even experiencing feelings of shame because we do see an energy of someone who has isolated, withdrawn, and left you hanging, you know? Like, they've. this is someone who may have pulled away and left you feeling a bit abandoned or ghosted. Um, with the five of pentacles in the reverse, you may have been waiting for this person, you know, with that seven of pentacles, like you didn't chase this person, but there's still this energy of willing to hear them out if they were to come back. Because we do have the five of pentacles in the reverse next to the judgment card, which does show up as this person coming back, like they pulled away temporarily. You know, it looks like this is the kind of person who doesn't want people to see them going through hard times. This is someone who doesn't like people seeing them struggling or vulnerable. Um, this is someone who may get their, like, their sense of self-worth or self-esteem from their, um, their finances or their career or something external. And there's been a period where they feel like they didn't have control over those things and they didn't feel good about themselves. So they felt shame and they may have pulled back. They may have ghosted or disappeared. But with the five of pentacles in the reverse, this person could be in a better position now. And with the judgment card, you may hear from this person again. They may have a big explanation. The judgment card is an energy of getting answers. Uh, this is someone who knows they owe you answers. They're giving you clarity. So it does look like someone is making a return into your life. So let's clarify these cards, Sagittarius. Okay, so we have the King of Pentacles, and this is Earth Energy, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy. So yeah, this person, they didn't feel good about themselves. It looks like they withdrew, and it wasn't personal to you. It was something going on with themselves or within their life, and it looks like it's very much something regarding their, their finances or their self-esteem. This person could have even been going through something like depression. Um, but they feel more stable right now with this King of Pentacles energy. They, there's something they've sorted out and it's like they needed to, to take care of it on their own. And this person wasn't just isolating from you. They may have been isolating from everyone in their life. And now they're in a better position and they want to show up and return. So we have the Eight of Cups, Water Energy, the Knight of Cups, Water Energy and the Empress. 
Venus energy. Yeah, this person, they were struggling with self-worth issues. Um, it looks like they see you as an empress, regardless of your gender. Like, this person doesn't want you to see them in a bad position because they see you as someone who is, like, they elevate you very highly and they didn't feel worthy of you in the past. They abandoned you with that Eight of Cups. This person walked away and now they're coming back with some sort of an offer. With the Knight of Cups, that can just be an expression of feelings. That can be them being vulnerable, wearing their heart on their sleeve because this person knows that they owe you some sort of explanation or clarity. Um, they do want to build something with you. You know, believe it or not, this person... They actually really admire you and they actually want you, like they want a future with you. They want to be a king of pentacles for to your empress. Like they want to be that kind of energy. They want to be someone who has something to offer you. Someone who's worthy of an empress, you know, and they see you as the empress. So they do want to be more worthy, you know, regardless of gender, you know, there's just this feeling of them wanting to know that they can bring something to the table, that they can be your partner like they are on your level. So this could be someone who generally does struggle with self-worth and self-esteem issues. And, and they may want to confess that to you. They may want to be vulnerable with you. Like this person wants to talk about the depth of their feelings. Okay, so I'm going to pull out an oracle card for you, Sagittarius. Okay, we have conclusions are within reach full moon eclipse so you and someone are coming to uh, some sort of conclusion you know with this person coming towards you giving you their truth it does look like you'll be able to make a final decision about this person with the judgment card for some of you you may choose to accept this person's explanation but ultimately choose to walk away from the situation um, but for some of you, you may hear this person out. It looks like you're making some sort of conclusive, conclusive decision here. Okay, so let's see. Okay, we have free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life yeah this person it's almost like they they are so wrapped up in their own insecurities and limiting beliefs and fears and issues with self-worth that they forget that when they abruptly pull away or distance themselves from people it hurts people this person may have actually hurt you when they abandoned you or when they ghosted or whatever they did it looks like it did hurt you like they isolated you and they didn't give any explanation or warning and they this person it's almost like they don't think that their actions have impact you know because they have such a low self-worth they feel like you wouldn't even notice if they distanced themselves or if they ghosted you like this is not someone who feels like they hurt you they don't expect that um but it's it's almost like in a self-centered way so it does look like you may ultimately just be having to make a judgment call about whether you want to keep this person in your life or not okay so let's see we have elegance and patience nature does not hurry yet everything is accomplished so you are being advised to take your time with making your decision you know there's something here about not being hasty not being quick to let someone in but also not being quick to push someone away just take your time be grounded and yeah there's something here about being patient with the situation okay so i'm gonna pull out a card for your advice, Sagittarius. Okay, 
here we have surrender your fear of change. The universe is reminding you that you are cared for always. Whether you're afraid of a change in your job, your health, or a relationship, or if you fear aging or death, repeat the affirmation, I have faith that all is well. Okay, so that's what I'm seeing for you, Sagittarius. I hope you have a really, really good day, Sagittarius. Bye, Sagittarius.